Alrighty guys, so I wanted to make this video because I talk a lot on my Twitter about small government or how the government gets involved in everything. And I really truly believe that a small government or a very minimalist government is the best thing in the world for everyone. So that means your taxes are low to none. Your everyday, you know, what you have to do, how you're going to decide to raise your kids, which means whether they go to a certain school or not, how you decide to, you know, what you decide to eat, what, where you decide to go, how you decide to do that, all of that should be up to you and according to your beliefs and convictions, okay? If you as a person believe that we should have more structure for those who are, you know, those without, Okay, I'm not saying I disagree with you. I'm just saying that the government shouldn't do it. All right. Mainly this stems from my own experience with the government. It's been horrible. I don't like any kind of like beyond. Maybe maybe this would be the easiest way to, to outline it. Beyond like a sheriff from the Old West where if you, you start screwing up, you start hurting people. And he comes after you, that's it. And I, the sheriff, he only did that one thing. If you steal, if you lie, if you try to hurt someone, if you murder, things like that, that's what the sheriff came after you for. So I just want that very, very basic sort of government. I don't want the government giving me money because when the government gives me money, basically what it's doing is taking money from me and then giving it back to me, but I can only use it a certain way. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Just give me my money and let me live my life freely instead of taking my money and giving it to people who would use it immorally, who would use it for things that I don't agree with, who would use it for things that maybe are good. I can concede that, but then also, I mean, you took money from me to do that. It would, it's, it's not like a Robin Hood thing when government takes money from you and uses it for someone else. So basically for me, when I say small government, I mean extremely limited. I don't want them involved in my day to day. I don't want them involved in my education. I don't want them involved in like my health care. I don't want them involved in anything. When we first started this country, our federal government at the very least was designed to do two things and that was defend us from outside forces and to when the states had a disagreement to be the middleman. That's it. That's what they were for. And that's what I want to go back to. When we first started, all of these representatives were volunteers. I don't think they should get paid. I think that's part of the problem with what's going on right now. I think that's why a lot of people want the government to do stuff because, well, I got to pay you anyway and I got to pay taxes anyway, so you might as well do for me. And I don't want that. I want people to make their own money and do their own thing. If you want to raise a charity that helps children, that helps people, then yes, let's do that together as individuals without the government. Government shutdowns don't scare me because you know what? People in the military are going to defend this country anyway. They're not there for a paycheck. They're there because they love their country and they love the people in it. Whether it's just their family or not, that's why they're there. So I am happy about this government shutdown. I wish it would just shut down and stay shut down. I don't think we need it. You know, people say, you know, what about national parks and the post office and everything? Look, I'm, I'm okay with not sending things to people. I'm okay with paying UPS to do it. I'm okay with paying FedEx to do it. That's what I usually do anyway because the U.S., the, the United States Postal Service is crap. You pay them with your taxes and you have to pay them again whenever you go in there to buy stuff. That doesn't make any sense. So, you know, what about all this, all this infrastructure? What about it? Most of the time, they don't keep it up. I mean, we give them all this money and we get nothing back for it. And so I, I totally believe that the way to do it is individualism. If I want to toll, if I want to make a road and make it a toll road, fine. If me and six other people want to get money together and make a road that everybody can use, fine. Like, 
I don't see why it's got to be as complicated as it is. But anyway, that is my, that is what I mean by small government. I'm a small government person, which means I don't want them involved in anything. If, if the question is, should the government, my answer is no. My answer will always be no. They, they screw it up every time. It's because this is, you know, we're giving sinful people power over other people. And they will use it to their benefit and they will hurt people and they will tell people you know what to do with their lives and that's exactly what the bible says will happen when you put a king over you when you put a government over you the jewish people lived only with their their religious leaders and god that's it and they were fine i don't know how many times people out there in the world do that where it's just them and their own convictions. Excuse me. And they're fine. Okay, they don't need this huge government to do things. And I think when we when we sit around, we think about, well, I need the government to do this. It's because we believe that personally we can't do it. Sorry, excuse me. I've been drinking a lot of coffee today. So that's that's wrong. That's a lie. It may take more than you and two other people. It may take a lot of people. And in this day and age, it wouldn't even take that long. There's so many ways to get money for people for whatever they need that is, is mind-blowing almost. So we don't need government. What we need is every individual empowered and believing and knowing and being proven to that they have the power to do, to help, to create, to do all these things. And if the government stays out of it, that's exactly what people will do. So anyway, guys, some of, some of my belief is biblical because it talks about wanting a king. And I've, I've done a video on that. And then some of it is because of my experience with government and what, and what I have watched them do my whole life. My whole life, they're like, well, we'll give you money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In exchange for us doing exactly what you say. I'm not your slave. And I'm not going to take your money and do what you say. So basically, I'm very f all fired about this. On Twitter, I was go oh, all over the Medicare for all. I think that's a horrible idea. As someone who has lived with two veterans, I know exactly what Medicare for all is going to look like. And what that's going to look like is you sitting in a hospital somewhere needing care, needing help, and being turned away day after day because, oh, we just don't have enough, or, oh, you're not that bad, go home. Uh, oh, uh, oops, sorry, we don't have that. You know, I know what Medicare for All looks like. And it is not this rosy, this rosy view that people seem to have. People seem to think I'm going to give my money to the government and it's going to be better, but it never is. So I'm a small, small, minuscule government person. I've not seen a whole lot of good come out of government. I think I can think of maybe one thing, but even there, I think individuals would have done it better. So that's where I am. I don't know what that's called. I don't know if that's called individualist or if that's just called, you know, a small government person. I don't know if I'm an anarchist. I have no idea. All I know is that our lives are better when the government isn't involved in it. And I know that from experience. I believe that from my worldview. And then I also can, there's also lots of things that you can see. You can do research on your, by yourself and just see what the government does. So that's what I mean by small government. When I say that, I mean almost none. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm an individualist for sure. So that's all I want to say today, guys. Not a whole lot of Bible in this one. Sorry. This is a political and a Bible channel. So that's what I'm doing today. And I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to read your Bible and pray and just think about how much better the world could be or would be if we all got together and did what was right. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.